Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we got Chrono back, and we are actually going to start some side quests. Um. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure who I want in my group, actually. Um. Let us start with. You know what? No, we don't want to warp to the Day of Lavos. Actually, this is a good group. We'll use this group. Actually, no, we, we shouldn't use this group. Sorry. There's one person I need to take out. There's one person I need to take out, and her name is Nadia. And we're going to use this group right here. We're going to use these fellows and ladies. And we're going to head over to the year... In the year 600. In the year 600. Apparently, I don't know how to work it. No. Go, damn it. Circle is accept. Not X. Now, there's actually quite a many things to do here. And we're actually going to start with... The forest over here, if you remember correctly, there was this, uh, there was this thing over here, this, uh, little warpy thing, and if we talk to Fiona, the desert monsters are draining the foil, blah, 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 mystic seedling, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so what we need to do is go and defeat those monsters, and how are we going to defeat those monsters? With the power of Magus, as he knows all the, the, uh... I think there's a, no, there's a tab down here. Anyways, he knows all the elemental spells. I'm bringing Luca just for funsies. We get a lapis. All these monsters in here will be weak to, they are weak to ice. So I'm just going to use, uh, Magus as he uses his ice. He shows us a thing or two on how things are done here. In the old underworld. And yeah, he's he's like the man. I know some people are like, let's why don't you use someone else? Or why'd you get him? But you know what? Look this is why I got him. Look at him. He's a mariner. Do you know what a mariner is? Or a marlin? He's something. He's a he's a man who lives on the ocean. He is a mariner. You know what? I'm gonna say it. I said it wrong. I don't care. So this ups an ally's defense, and this will hit an enemy with uh, dark mist. We're trying to learn flare and shock. Because we're going to shock the monkey. Yeah, that's right. I went Ozzy Osbourne on your A. You're probably like, whoa. I didn't think he was going to do that. But he did. Anyways, these guys are weak to wa I ice, water. And I'm just going to use uh, heal beam here. Why the hell not? And why not? We'll use, uh, fire too. There we go. Luka using her fire. Although this should do some alright damage. Not enough to kill. But that's alright. Now, if you remember, they were saying... You know, Jasper, uh, the guru of time, or, uh, so there's time, reason, and then life. Three odd, uh, choices for, uh, you know, gurus, I guess. You figure they'd be, like, the guru of something. Alright, apparently these guys, they want to be harmed in a way that, 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 uh, that only Magus knows how to do. But yeah, you figure there would be different gurus here. Let's grab this. Come on, grab it, Luca. And plus, Luca, like, she's kind of part of this whole thing here. Luca is actually part of this scenario here, so I figured I, I would bring her. We got an Aeon suit, which, you know what, let's give it to you. Anyways, no, there's no more enemies. Oh, there's, here we go. Oh, here's some new enemies here. 
These are Mohabar. Whatever the hell that is. And they do that ability, which isn't that bad. So yeah, Magus is prowess of magic. It's truly amazing. He's like Jem. He's truly outrageous. Some of you may not know who Jem is. Alright, we're doing fairly good here. Alright, we almost got him learning that. Almost learned that. Not even close, Luca. That's alright. There's like six battles over here. Let's come over here and pick this up. We get a full tonic. What the hell is that? Holy moly! That is some creature! This is the monster that's been causing the devastation. Or desert for desert vacation. Not unlike California Canation or whatever. California Nation. Dreaming of Californication. There we go. I can say words eventually. It takes a while, but I can get it done, people. You might be thinking, man, you're a moron, and you would probably be right. But you're watching me. So do I win? Anyways, let's uh, let's heal up and let us uh, let us fight Mr. Zombie guy. Okay, so this is Mr. Zombor, similar to um, the dude from before. Um, whoa, Luca! You know what? Uh, yeah, you need a mid-tonic bad. Alright, so what I want Robo to do is use his Uzi Punch on that guy there. On the core. Hit the core! And that now run away is when the core is lost. So now, what we want to do with Robo is heal everyone and have uh, Magus use ice. Yes. Because this guy will, is actually very susceptible to ice. As most uh, enemies in this area are. Now what this will do is it, it will, it will uh, reduce their defensive power. So I'm going to let him do it one more time. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. One more time. Let's have Luca heal you up. Because actually I'm going to use Robo... To, uh, to use another Uzi punch on the bottom. Boom, 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 bam. And see, as you can see, its attack power is raised when it uh, is attacked. If I need to, I'll just use Luca as a uh, as a body here. More ice. More Uzi. Let's use a lapis. We've got a bunch of them. I hate when that thing stays up there too damn long. Then you can't see what's going on. There we go. But yeah, this guy is a Rintinonite or something. He's a little piece of crap. Oozy Punch. Ice. But yeah, we've seen a lot of Chrono, so I probably won't be using him too much. Oh, come on. Oh, because he didn't go first, that's right. Damn you, Magus, hurry up. Hurry up, Magus. Hurry up! Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Ooh, you sucked out whatever that is, the juices or something? I don't know. Let's use a lapis. Yeah, we have so many of them, it doesn't really matter. Alright, Uzi Punch. There we go. I like how Robo punches his chest like he's an ape. Man, this guy... And so you could have brought Chrono or Isla here to really do some damage. Like, that top part is probably ready to be punched. Let's use this. Let's use, uh... Let's use a mid-ether on Robo. 
Now I gotta wait. Actually, I could probably... Huh, no, nah, probably not. I was thinking maybe I could use a double tech as a fire tackle or something, but... That's probably no bueno. Let's hit the head. Boom! Only a thousand? Oh, so you know what? It's probably twice you can use that. And then let's hit the bottom again, because the bottom is a real bitch. Alright, Robo needs to be healed bad. Get on it, Luca. Let's use a full tonic. There we go. Alright, now, now we've got him down pretty good. We've whittled him down. Uh, ice again, sure. And you, Uzi Punch. You, Lapis. Boom! Not cool what you're doing there. Alright, um, yeah, use ice. You could probably just use regular ice. Come on, Luca. You know what, Luca? We'll use an elixir. I'm Robo. Do another one. Yeah, so this is probably the best way to be... Well, not the best way, but this is a fairly easy way strategy. Let's have her use an ether on Magus. Yeah, so only water works on this guy. Nope. Ice. Oozy punch. And then a lapis. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah, you could use Chronos Confuse, you can use Eyeless Triple Kick, you could use Frog Leap Slash. It's really whatever you want to do. Look, he's doing a laser spin. What do you think, he's Robo? So, alright, Ice, Uzi Punch. Can you die already, already? Come on. You know you wanna. I just love how Magus just kind of stands there. He's like, eh, whatever. This is how water works. I freeze it. With my magical powers. And we win! And look at Magus there. He's like, ah, oh, that was a pussy monster. He was a pussy. He was a real jerk. Alright, so we're done here. Nice job, everybody. We have resurrected, or we have done what could not be done before. Now there actually is a tab somewhere. Right here we got a power tab which I'll... I don't know, could go to Chrono, could go to Robo, I'm not sure. So what we need to do here is come and tell Fiona and Shrek that their thing is done. It'll take century, centuries to revive the forest. I wish I could live it long enough. Oh, and yeah, you need Robo here. And Robo will stay behind and help Fiona? Look, there's Robo right there. Hey, Robo, how's it going? Look at him plowing the fields there, irrigating the soil and everything. Let's go, let's go see how the forest is doing back in the old thousand AD. Oh, look at that! The beautiful forest is back, or, or is here. Look at this. Robo did a hell of a job. And there's some sort of cathedral here. This is Fiona's shrine. Here we give thanks to Fiona and Robo for replanting it. How nice. Oh, Lo Robo's here. Oh, so we can buy some hats here. Oh, look at that. These are actually very good vigil hats. Those are very nice. They protect from status ailments, so what the hell is the point of even purchasing these? 
I wonder. But we'll, we'll, we'll go with those a little later. I'll come back and get all this stuff, don't you worry. And look who it is, it's Robo! He's alive, sorta, kinda. He's been enshrined in this area. And this is why you need to bring Luca. Well, actually, you don't, I don't know if you really need to bring her. But it's nice to have her there. Because she's Robo's friend. Systems reactivated. Where am I? Ah, Luca, how nice to see you. For you, it was a quick hop, but for me, it was 400 long years. The effort was worth it. The force has grown back. Now let us celebrate the 400th year reunion. So this is actually a very awesome scene. And he has come to think that Lavos may not be responsible for Gates. What do you mean? I've come to think that someone or something has wanted us to see all of this. The different events over time that we have witnessed, it's almost as if some entity wanted to relive its past. This was always something that I never understood, even now, I guess. I don't know, is the, is the planet dying and they want us to help fix it or something? Yeah. If only I'd done this, or I should have done that, triggers unple unpleasant memories. That is true. Probably, who knows. Although this does lead into another event that is going to happen very shortly. So there's no point in time where Luca would really want to go back and do stuff, huh? Not one single thing. Lavas played an integral role in the fortunes of this entity? Did he? Maybe, I don't know. So who is this entity? I don't know, we might have to find out in Chrono Cross. Yeah, it might be, well... The true identity, I don't know, I don't know what the hell... See, this is something I never understood, even now. Is this something that's talking about from Chrono Cross or something, or...? How does this work? And look at that! Luca's up. And yeah, Chrono just basically slept through the whole damn thing. And yeah, Luca is up. And look at Frog over here. I love how he sleeps. Like he's dead. With his tongue out. And Magus? Is he really sleeping? I don't even know. But yeah, this is a... This is a scene. You know, look at this. Here's a gate. A red gate. Not cool. So yeah, this is a red gate, and this is actually something interesting, which you need to do correctly, otherwise, uh, shit is gonna happen. And look at this, we're back at that moment. Is this the moment Luca regrets the most? I don't know, maybe it is, but I'm safe-stating it. Dad promised we'd go hiking, but he blew it off again due to his work. I hate science, I loathe it. And yeah, look, it's the house. What is this thing? Tavin says to keep away from him, but it's so just so dusty. Oh dear God, what's gonna happen? My skirt, I'm stuck, Luca, help me! I can't pull it out. We need to go down there and save her. Enter the password, but I don't know what it is. Oh God, we need to save her. Actually, the password is her name. L-A-R-A. L-A-R-A. And yeah, that will stop Luca's mom from having her legs uh, put into this thresher thing over here. And apparently, yeah, if you went in the other room, you would have found that out. But apparently, I didn't. So this is actually the reason why Luca ended up becoming a, a scientist. But as you can see, it seems like she might have changed her fate. Or at least her mom's fate, as you can see, as we will see. You know, that is why her mom actually was, was bedridden the whole time, because her legs, uh, she became paralyzed. She lost her legs in battle. And look who's here, Robo! You've got a kind heart, you're always thinking of others. And this is for you, it's a piece of amber I created using the sap from a tree in my forest. 
and we get ourselves a green dream. So not only did we save the forest, we also saved Luca's mom, who we're actually going to come back over here. And I'm going to put Luca in the lead, just for this moment. We're going to come over here, and look, here's Tabin. Hey, Dad. But now if we go upstairs, we're like, oh, look, she's walking. It's a miracle. Luca's mom is, a, is walking again. How, how about that? So let us head over to uh, Chrono's house and call it a day. See, now there is something that, well, I guess I'll talk about it in the next episode. But, yeah, let's go to Chrono's house and then I'm going to call it a day. What a beautiful day. The black omen sure sparkles in the sun. What? Is that what you people are talking about, this wretched black omen thing? Anyways, we'll have to figure out what to do with that. But not in the next episode. We're going to do more side quests. This has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.